Hello guys, welcome back to Let's Play Hearthfire. Whoa, it's the building house simulator for Skyrim. <laughs> right, so when we last left off, we built our little entranceway to the house. Uh, and when I had left you, I had gone mining. So I'd mined a whole pile of stone and a, a bunch of clay. Clay makes a funny noise. It makes a tink, tink, tink sound, the same as when you're mining rocks. And you need a pick to mine clay. It's odd. I don't know why you don't need a shovel anyway. I'll just show you what we've got before we get into some of the other things that I've done just off screen uh, for the sake of not annoying the living daylights out of you. So quarry stone, we have 107, so that should be enough to finish all of the construction. Uh, and iron ingots, we've got 56, which again should be more than enough for what we need. And then for clay, we've got 38, again, which should be more than enough. Although, now, what we don't have is a pile of logs. Now, I did try and go and get some, however, I couldn't uh, find anyone who was going to sell me them conveniently. However, uh, I've done another thing. I, I got rid of Serana, which you may have noticed, and I brought Lydia along to this place. Now, when I did bring Lydia here, there was a uh, an what do you call it a conversation point uh, a discussion topic uh, relating to becoming a steward and she said that she would be honored to and then she came into here so let's go and meet Lydia who is going to be not only our house Carl but our steward as well now the good thing about a steward if we have a little chat with Lydia hello Lydia she can buy things for us, so instead of us having to go and source a whole bunch of stuff, uh, you can actually go to speak to her and get all the various things, provided you've got the money for it. Now, Lydia, uh, this is, I think, a better way to build a house because. Of course. What are we running short of? I'll assure you, because you don't have to go looking, as I said. So we, we wouldn't have had to have gone mining, but I don't mind, because I only I just set a, set Hexam away and then went and gone and made myself a drink. <laughs> right, so we probably need about a hundred lumber. So let's get. I'll see to it at once. That's twenty. Is there anything else you need? I'll see to it at once. Is there anything else you need? That's forty. I'll see to it at once. That's 60. Is there anything else you need? Come on, guys. What's the next number? What's the next number? Just one more, Lydia. I'll see to it at once. Actually, we'll probably do another one for good luck. How about that? One more for good luck. I'll see to it at once. Thank you very much, Lydia. So, another bonus, actually, of having a steward inside your property uh, is that you can actually just buy all of the furniture for your various properties well for your various buildings uh, which is useful because um, you'd normally have to craft them from individual items and then that means you have to go source them so it depends on how you want to play this but uh, for our Hearthfire Let's Play there's 122 there that should be more than enough oh look at these beautiful heavenly bodies um, I don't really want to spend an awful lot of time just running around like a noob. So, let's build the hall, main hall foundation. Yep. Uh, we'll build a floor, and a frame, and a wall. Actually, do you want to see what it looks like? I don't know if you care. Look at that. It's huge, actually. It looks huge. Look at that. It's ginormous. Anyways, right, first level walls, because, uh, and then we've got the main hall second floor supports. Just see what it looks like now. Look at that. Looks pretty cool, eh? Our own gigantic Menoris Skyrim house. Anyway, <coughs> Hexem's busy away hammering something piece of wood it looks like and we'll stick a roof on and we can actually build a cellar as well for eight logs and holy crap 50 quarried stone 
Uh, actually, <clears throat> I might hang off on the. Oh no, we might might as well. Uh, yes. Right there we go. Thank. Thankfully, we don't have to do all the tedious work of mining. Oh, look at that. The wind is blowing past. Nice. Right, so, should we go and inspectigate our lovely house inside here? Because I think I'd like to. Just to see what we've got inside. And then once we've done that, we'll work on the three extensions that we're going to build. Uh, now, for those... I don't think I've discussed the three extensions that we're going to build in this... Uh, let's play but we're going to build an armory because of the mannequins uh, because you know how much Hexen loves to hoard stuff <coughs> well uh, this is down to our cellar is it well he's gonna have an armory so that he can uh, look at this place is quite nice looking really isn't it must be a, these must be bedroom areas Need some work, shoddy, shoddy workmanship here, Hex. So look at the overlap on this. And then look at this joint here. This is not even a joint. It's just like you broke a piece of wood. Hex, a flipping egg. Well, I suppose he's not really gifted in the art of building houses. Just assume that he could build his own. I mean, he's done not too bad a job, but I'm kind of worried in case this thing is going to collapse on our head. Anyway, we're going to build a trophy room. For the same reason. Uh, mostly because it sort of appeals to the egotism and and, and hoddish nature. Um, we're not having a library, unfortunately. Because... Um, uh, because uh, it, that conflicts with the armory. And Hexon would rather have an armory than a library. He does like books, nonetheless. And he would probably just put them inside of his... Uh, chests which there it will probably be an abundance of and then last but not least is the greenhouse which we're going to build anyway nice big giant hall that we've just built here so let's get cracking need, uh lydia we oh. may need to buy some more ingredients so can we buy some oh. stone what are we running short of? stone uh i'll probably buy another hundred Certainly. from you I'll have it delivered to the chest near your workbenches. oh brilliant thanks Thank you, Lydia. Is there anything else you need? Lydia's a dream, isn't she? Certainly. I'll have it delivered to the chest near your workbenches. Thank you, Lydia. Oh, she's wonderful. Is there anything else you need? I'm pleased that she's our steward, you know. She's Certainly. probably by far the best. It to the chest near your Thank you very much, Lydia. Maybe I'll go for it. That was sixty. So I might go for another Certainly. Oops. I'll have it delivered Did to I just buy some clay? Oh dear. We didn't need that. Is there anything else you need? It was actually stone, Lydia. I'm sorry about that. Certainly, I'll have it delivered to the chest near your workbench. Thank you, my lovely lady. Anyway, she'll start. I don't even know what. Maybe sweeping up the cobwebs. So, now that we've built our main hall, we'll be able to go back to the the um, drafts table, and we'll be able to start work on laying the foundations for other parts of our lovely place, lovely chesty house place, yes, here we go, haven't had any attacks from anything lately, anyway let's get our stone out from here, see that, Lydia, Lydia, put that in there, for, had that put in there for us, very efficient, right, so, uh, I want to work, I want the armory, so, yes, we'll build the armory first. The way that it works is, is that when you come to this drafting table, you get given uh, like an unknown magical uh, item into your inventory. And based on what's in your inventory, then you can craft on your workbench. That's why you can't build on things simultaneously. Because the game doesn't know what it is that's in your inventory. You can only have one building item in your inventory. That's the way that they worked around it. I think it's a clever system, to be honest. Ah, oh, right. We have to fashion some locks. So, three iron fittings, three locks, six hinges, and six nails. 
which should probably actually fashion a whole bunch more. So, let's build some building materials. Sorry about this, but this is all part of the DLC. Probably build 20 of these. Uh, and then what else do we need? Uh, hinges. We'll build six hinges. I think that's what they wanted from us. Oh, we leveled up, did we? Well done, building them hinges. Locks. Three locks, wasn't it? Locks are expensive things. Well, not expensive, but they do use an awful lot of ingredients. And three of these. There's an awful lot of iron being used in this armory, although you probably expect it. Right, so I think that's all the building materials we'll need for the armory. So, <coughs> let's get building. A house? Build me some doors, yes. Some foundations? Yes. Uh, floors and wall supports. Right, before I do anything else I just want to have a little quick look. See that? That's the basis of our armory. Looks pretty good with the double doors there. I think we'll probably spend some ca- well no no no, we'll spend cash later on. I think we'll just get all our structures in place and then we'll start filling it up with things. Right, so the armory roof. And actually what does that look like? <laughs> it looks quite funny. It's a pity we don't have um, the ability to put whatever we like in here, because I'd like to put some glass here. That would be rather cool, and then everybody could walk past envious. Although it might encourage an awful lot of thievery to come by. Give Lydia an awful lot of work, trying to stop the bandits crawling in here and stealing my legendary armors. Not that we have any, actually, at the moment. So, we'll finish building it off, shall we? The walls, and that's that. So, nothing that outstanding, to be honest. Do we? There was three locks, wasn't there? Well, because we built three doors. If I'm not, mis what the hell happened there? XM ran so fast, he just slid through the, the floor. Some dodgy work there. I can see he's tried to match some dodgy bits up, but this. Look at this plank. We're going to fall straight through and break our necks. Right. So, we've got this lovely piece here. So this is our armory. It will be our armory once we get all the other things built. Uh, it looks pretty good. I mean, it makes our house look gigamongous, even bigger than it was looking before. I'm excited to see what else we end up building. 54 wood. I think it's very convenient that we have a... Um, a steward, because otherwise it would, would have took us a lot longer to sort things out, because we can't build anything else at the moment. Right. What I think we'll do is when we come back, we'll build the other two extensions, and then we'll start thinking about filling it up with stuff. And then we might think about... I don't think we'll adopt any children. It's not really Hexam style, to be honest. Um, we might think about it later on. And if we do, we'll come back to the Hearthfire DLC uh, playlist. I think this is only episode two, isn't it? Yeah. So anyway, when we come back, we're going to build the other two extensions. So that's the armory. We're going to build a greenhouse, which I'm quite excited for building, actually. And we're going to be building a... Uh, what do you call that other thing? Uh, a trophy place. Yeah. Anyway, that'll be for then. So until then, guys, stay safe, take care of yourself. Goodbye.